That is gigantic. <laughs> we couldn't help but notice this, um, abandoned boat. Wow, that is so cool, guys. Nice. Amazing, just amazing. And it's hard to tell, but it looks like there might be a sea cave in there. It's really cool. Let's take a look over here. It's like there's going to be a beach coming up soon that we may be able to walk on. Continuing on, found this really cool rock formation. So the sign said this was Kissing Rock. Very impressive. The beach is windy today, guys. Um, yeah. Very intense, right? Yes. <laughs> Drove a little bit further down. The wind doesn't seem as bad, but we'll see as we start walking. to another beach. Now we are checking out Arch Rock. Basically the power of the waves creating the sea cave which eventually created a tunnel and an arch, and now an arch. Eventually the arch is going to collapse. It'll just be two separate islands. That's really, really neat. Just the surroundings in general, loving it. So this is the Thomas Creek Bridge. It is the highest bridge in Oregon at 345 feet. For you coaster fans, you know, it's a, it's a giga coaster, basically. <laughs> so they call this one the Rainbow Beach Viewpoint. Another 10 out of 10 in my books. We are at Chetco Brewing Company. Have the Imperial Stout on the right, and what'd you get on the left? I got a passion fruit mimosa. It was pretty good. It's delicious. Nice, and this Imperial Stout is awesome. Let's keep enjoying. All right, so we got ourselves a little rice bowl here, and it was the Southern. It has all these ingredients, but we got these on the side, and there it is. Okay, so that beer was really good, and that snack we had was also excellent. It was perfect. Gave us some um, much needed sustenance for the oh, hike yeah. that we're doing right now. Yep, that's right. We are now on the Oregon Redwoods Trail, and there's one right there. It's, it's huge. huge. <laughs> Got ourselves a big one here. Holy crap. Gorgeous tree. Wow. It has a tree coming out of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, here's another one, guys. Very, very cool. It's all around. Tall, tall trees everywhere. Everywhere. Yes. Got ourselves a beast up ahead.
And I'll, yeah, stand up next to it. What's up? For size comparison? Yes. <laughs> that is a big tree. We're just stopping and admiring the way the sunlight is hitting this forest. It's beautiful. These are two massive trees. And there's another one right over there, too. Wow. Nice. God, that is gigantic. OMG. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I saw this one. Tree looks like it's kind of dead, but then there's some life at the top. But we can go inside. Let's take a look. And now we are standing inside of it, looking up through the top. This is really cool. Wow. Nice. I am amazed by Mother Nature. Oh, yeah. It's just hollowed out, man. This is so neat. This one's really cool. It, like, splits into three, it looks like. Nice. That's a huge one. Oh, yeah, it is. Yep, yeah, another hollowed out one. Yeah. Such calm and quiet forest Very that we quiet. are. Yeah. Ooh, that one got ravaged. Maybe got hit by lightning or something Possibly. like that. Yeah, look how it how it goes down. That was lightning, definitely. Yeah, it like spiraled down. That's insane but uh man it's a beautiful hike guys southwestern oregon come check it out definitely something cool just happened my first time in cali yep uh we just crossed the california border we're not staying the night here we're just dipping in for a little while gonna get some dinner at crescent mm -hmm. city at a brewery there but yeah sarah's first time in california <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna see a little bit of stuff a little bit but i mean after the whole virus and stuff we'll see more yep <laughs> but let me turn you around here we couldn't help but notice this um abandoned boat that maybe might have been a restaurant i don't know, I don't know. It's weird. yeah it's really strange it's definitely seen better days but it's like someone parked a boat here looks like maybe there used to be stairs up to it yeah you got how they accept um visa mastercard all that must be must have been a restaurant or a bar or something that's really cool though decided to make a quick beach stop here in california gorgeous and that sunset out there is amazing with all the sea stacks and everything in the background or in the foreground love it all right guys we are down at seaquake brewing here in crescent city california and on the left i got the hazy ipa and on the right what'd you get it's a kombucha mixed with champagne nice nice yeah. cheers so we have drink those beers they were delicious um, i really enjoyed my hazy ipa i love that style because it's really juicy and everything and isn't as much like hops punch you in the face but you still get a little bit of hoppiness but not a whole lot of it and uh sarah how did you enjoy your it was so refreshing um it was freezing out there so i drank it pretty fast yeah but because uh, <laughs> i needed it to keep me warm but it was really delicious Nice, nice. Uh, they only had outdoor seating, and they had a, f a few heaters, but not like widespread for every table. So we were like, no, it's uh, too cold. We got our food to go instead, and we're eating in our car right now. Um, we both got the fish tacos. They have blackened local fish. I forgot to ask, ask them what type of fish it was, but it was fresh, you know, caught locally though 
So take a look at that blackened seasoning on that fish, looking good. And then Harris, or Sarah's right thing. there. She got the same thing. We're gonna eat up, let you know how it goes, guys. Man, that was delicious. It was so good. Yes. The fish had the perfect amount of seasoning on it, just a little bit of heat. So did the coleslaw. Yep. But it made it perfect and it totally helped warm us up. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Love the blackened <laughs> seasoning on it. The, the coleslaw was a perfect touch. Uh, all around mm. great, great fish tacos, man. Yes. So, yeah, check it out. It's called Seaquake Brewing in Crescent City, California. It is like the northwestern tip of California, basically. <laughs> It's been a great Saturday on the West Coast, guys. Uh, we basically, as a um, checking Google Maps, we're about 130 plus miles south of Coos Bay. So we got to drive all the way back up to Coos Bay. It's about two and a half hours. So yeah, it's been great. Thanks for checking it out, guys. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And subscribe. And subscribe. The emphasis, that's why we both said <laughs> subscribe. it. Subscribe. Exactly. Hit that subscribe button. But we're going to head back now, guys.